Hey everyone, welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions software educational videos. And today we're going to be diving into the software ArcGIS's Arc Map. A lot of people use this. It's used around the world for various engineering, hydrology projects, on and on it goes. I'm going to show you where you can find the purchase options for ArcGIS, how to set up an account and do all that. So let's get into all that information here. You're going to want to like and subscribe to the channel because we have tons of videos on different engineering software and you're going to want to keep up with this series as well. So go ahead and do that. Anyways, I have a blank browser open here. I'm going to go to uh, Google real quick here. I'm just going to search, search ArcGIS Arc Map. And the first thing you want to do is create an account with ArcGIS or Arc Map. And you can do that through this ArcGIS online here. Click sign in. Or if you don't have an account, you can actually create an account. So I'm going to go in and uh, sign in here with my account. And so you can see what my dashboard looks like and also show you what the various purchase options are. So I'm gonna do that here real quick. All right, so I've signed into my account here. This is my organization. And this is where I can keep track of all my ArcGIS licenses and everything that I'm doing. So we have the home tab here. So if you set up your own account, you should be able to get access to this. So you can have the home for your organization. ArcGIS kind of sets it up so that you have organizations and then organizations are able to assign licenses to different users. If you're just using like one home license, for instance, then it's gonna be a little more simpler. But if you're a large corporation utilizing a software like ArcGIS, this back um, back channel here or this um, dashboard here is actually gonna become really important for you uh, to access and assign your software. So for example, you can set up certain groups that can utilize it um, and control your whole, your whole organization's uh, setup and structure uh, in that tab here, as well as your various licenses. So if I go here, I have a license for ArcGIS. It also shows you uh, some of the pro extensions that you have uh, access to, but these are my various applications. You can find all of that here. Now, what if you haven't purchased any licenses yet? What do you do? Well, you can go to buy GIS software by going to esri.com, and then you can go to overview here, and this is the core GIS software, software for individual projects to enterprise-wide developments, available for desktop and the web. So you can choose which one is applicable to you with the lowest, lowest level being ArcGIS for personal use. And you can download the pricing right there. So that's how to download and purchase and get access to it. Now, in order to actually download uh, ArcGIS to your computer after your purchase, you're gonna to need to do a few things. You're actually gonna to need to go to My Esri and your store purchases. And it's from here that you can actually download your different licenses. So if I go to licensing here uh, on my profile and settings tab, you'll also get an email when you purchase the software for where you can directly uh, download it. So if you go to the downloads tab here, you can find where ArcGIS Pro is and where ArcGIS Desktop is, and then you can download both those products or any other products that you purchased right there. Simply download, to the, uh, download those files to your computer and run the installer and everything should be set up. And when you click ArcMap on your computer, ArcMap, ArcMap 10.82, should come up that's the latest version that i have downloaded and after running an activation code you should then be able to run the software so that's a quick introduction into how to get arcgis set up how to get your account set up i will admit it is a bit confusing and you can leave your questions down below um, it's not as straightforward as i would like it to be but um, it is what it is anyways we'll be going over how to do more operations in arcmap and arcgis here later in the series as we get into this software so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.